Hey guys, this is Chris with I Want That Reviews. And we're going to be talking today about the St. Croix Tactical Solutions Nitride Bolt Carrier Group. I've had this guy in my rifle for about two weeks now. Uh, that's given me the opportunity to put about 400 rounds downrange uh, and uh, kind of develop some opinions on it. <clears throat> uh, I'm uh, hard pressed to find anything that I dislike about it, but uh, we'll get into that here in a little bit. Uh, now you can see I have it side by side here with uh, with a standard uh, phosphated bolt carrier group. You can see there's a, a definite color difference uh, as well as finish. Um, obviously, your your standard uh, phosphate carrier is uh, it's black. We all say, but uh, I mean you can see when you see them side by side that it's actually kind of a grayish color. Um, this guy's got probably about. I don't know, probably, probably about 2,000 rounds through it. Uh, this one, obviously, like I said, has got about 400 on it. So this one's getting pretty close to, to needing to have the rings replaced, but obviously this one's still uh, still not uh, not too far along to, to need anything like that. <clears throat> now, uh, obviously, you know, when you pick them up, you can tell the, the weight the weights there, they, they weigh just about the same. Um, the One of the things where the St. Croix really jumps out is the, the finish. It's nice and slick. Uh, it uh, reduces the uh, the drag, I guess, in those places where it, uh, where it meets up against it. Uh, you can see there's a few places here um, where it's already uh, establishing some wear. Um, but that's obviously to be expected for, uh, you know, for, for being a primary moving part in your rifle. Uh, it's advertised as being, uh, as having a 9310 steel bolt. Uh, that bolt is also magnetic particle inspected and shot peened. Uh, the carrier comes in a full auto configuration and is also nitrided, so your whole thing is nitride. Uh, which is nice. One thing I was impressed with is it is a, a nice, smooth, even finish. Uh, I wasn't able to see any, uh, any deformities or any uh, um, uh, uneven spots or anything like that. So uh, they're, they're definitely doing something right with the finish. Uh, they do advertise on the website that they are grade 8 hardened fasteners. Uh, the key is staked uh, per mil spec and uh, if you can see there um, it's got some, it's definitely got some good staking. Uh, those bolts are not going anywhere. Uh, they also advertise it as having the crane O-ring to assist with uh, ejection um, uh, of, of your spent casings. Um, I haven't noticed any, any particular difference in the way my, my casings eject, but uh, it, I, I, again, I haven't had any issues. Like I said, I got out to the range. Um, my uh, my first outing, I put uh, I pro put probably 250, 300 rounds through it just in one sitting, and uh, it, it it just it operates like a dream. I mean, it runs smooth. Um, it just and it gets dirty. Matter of fact, I ran it through with some uh, some relatively dirty reloads that I have, and uh, just specifically for that reason to get in there and uh, you know get some carbon in there, get some soot in there to see exactly how this thing would handle. And uh, I, I'm impressed. I mean, it uh, there there was carbon all over this thing, and uh, it was it was filthy. Um, I mean, both times I brought it back, it's been dirty, and. Uh, uh, you know, I open it up and it's so impressive. It, uh, I mean, for the most part, it just wipes clean. Um, I, you know, I pull the guy out and uh, grab a couple napkins, and I can just start wiping most of the carbon off, except for you know the high, uh, high carbon places uh, on the back side of the of the bolt, and uh, and back in there where it you know really builds up, it gets a direct jet on there. That's where it required a little bit more scrubbing, but I mean for the most part, the thing just just wipes clean, so it's a dream. Uh, I've not discovered any kind of looseness. Um, the, uh, the 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 lugs make good solid lockup with my uh, with my barrel, and uh, and it does everything that uh, that I would expect it to do. When compared to the phosphate, um, I mean I've I've not had any kind of an issue. I've not had anything really to make me say that I don't like my phosphate, except for the fact that. Uh, you know, this one requires a little, uh, maybe I guess you could say a little less lube, um, or uh, it's a little easier to clean, which that's a great thing. If it's a little easier for me to clean, I'm happy. I could tell when I uh, when I pulled it out of the package that I was going to be happy with it. It's got good solid construction. It 
it locks up, it glides right into my upper, and uh, I, I would have no, no problem at, uh, leaving it in my rifle. Likes. Um, I like the fact that it's the full auto bolt. Um, obviously, I don't have the sears or anything like that. Don't come after me, ATF. Um, I'm not. Uh, I'm not running an automatic firearm, but I like the fact that it's got that little bit of extra weight to to throw around when uh, when you know when it's ratcheting around inside my weapon. Um, I like how well the uh, the gas key is staked. It's uh, it's clear that these uh, these bolts are not going anywhere, and uh, my gas key should not be going anywhere anytime soon. I really like the nice, smooth, even finish on it. I know this is a metal treatment and not, say, a plating or anything like that. So uh, I thought it was. Uh, I thought they did a really good job with uh, with the finish on it. Um, I do kind of like the the their logo here that, that that's etched on it. I also uh, was really impressed with how easy it was to clean. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that's, that can probably be attributed to that nice, uh, silky smooth finish that's on there. Um, but it, like I said, it really just was a dream to clean. Uh, as far as dislikes go, um, I don't really have any for it. Um, I don't like the fact, I guess, that it is, it's showing wear after, you know, 400 rounds. Um, but uh, I, I guess that's probably to be expected for a primary moving part in your weapon. Uh, I'm really only seeing that wear on the places where it rides against the, uh, the frame, against the upper receiver, um, and where the lugs lock up with the barrel. So uh, I, I, I don't think that that's really anything to be concerned with. Um, uh, Again, like I said, it's it's really hard to find anything to be disappointed with. Um, it's uh, it's a good solid piece of kit. Um, it it uh, it locks up good with my lugs, uh, or it locks up good in the rifle. Um, <clears throat> uh, like I said, there's just not uh, not a whole lot I can say about it that uh, would make me say that it's not worth it. Um, I'm thoroughly impressed with the price. I mean, 95 bucks for a nitrided bolt carrier group that is uh, that is going to prolong the life of your weapon and uh, uh, decrease the amount of time that you're going to have to spend scrubbing on it is uh, is always a plus. So uh, you know, I would say that it would be great for any budget build. It would be great for any uh, midline or or even higher uh, higher end build. Um, although, you know, if, if, if you're somebody that's going to be insistent upon having, uh, the, the higher names, then, you know, this, this may not be for you. Um, check out their link in the description below. Um, I'll include a link to their, uh, to their website as well as their Facebook page. So you can get over and take a look and see if it's for you. They do have several other bolt carrier groups that are available, uh, including a, uh, a nickel boron, a, uh, titanium, uh, they just got a whole bunch of stuff over there uh, that's, that's definitely worth taking a look at. So take a look in the description below and get over there and see if it's something for you. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, share, uh, get this out there uh, because the more people that I can get back here, the more reviews that I can keep bringing to you to make you say, I want that.